Good morning, friends. It's Sammy back with another episode of The Daily Dash. That's right, it's everything you need to know from around the world and in my life, straight from my car dashboard to yours. Today is Monday, May 8th, 2017. Let me tell you what you need to know so you're in the know around the water cooler and in car line today. All right, lots of news. There always is on a Monday. Uh, let's see what I can remember. Okay, former or acting attorney general is, Susan, I forget her name, is going to testify against former attorney general Michael Flynn and how the Russians, you know, all, yeah, all that stuff is going on. Um, I'll tell you why I'm asked, scratching my eye in a second. Uh, the Yankees beat the Cubs, my cubbies, in an 18-inning Game. Now listen, I enjoy going to baseball games every now and then, but this is one of those reasons when exhausting. Nine inning game turns to 18. Holy moly. Especially if you don't have any skin in the game, that can be long. Okay, um, what else is going on? North Korea has detained an American professor. The MTV Music and Movie Awards had their first, or not, I think it's anywhere, the first genderless award. So they did a best actor, actor best acting person um, in a role, and Emma Watson won for Beauty and the Beast. I still haven't seen it, which is crazy, right? We see every Disney movie when it comes out. We were traveling. We've had opportunities to see it at different times, but not with all four of us together, and I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay. Anyway, if you missed any of that, I know there's some other news I had. Oh, and President Obama, former President Obama, won the um, Courage Award. There's a Courage, Profile of Courage Award. You can always check out on anything you may have missed below. You can find it on SammyCone.com, at the Sammy Cone on social media, or on my YouTube. Okay, can you see my eyelashes? You see these? Okay, so a year ago, I had my TIA, right? I was on the road with my husband and my friend Tiff, aka Plum, and she convinced me to get individual fake eyelashes put on, which is an excruciating process. And the glue, ugh. anyway, long story short, come to find out that wasn't normal. It shouldn't have smelled that way. It shouldn't have burned that way. But I'm like, um, it's glue on your eyes. Not good, right? So I ended up pulling them all out right, right before the little TIA episode. I haven't even thought about doing it since. Well, last week we had this book um, launch at Kate Spade, New York, the How to Be a... Uh, Hepburn in a Kardashian world, and I was looking at Sephora for something for my daughter, and I don't know why I discovered Tarte. Have you guys heard of Tarte? No? Okay. So it's mostly, I guess, vegan, cruelty-free, just a, a better makeup line, and they had lashes, and so I said, if I buy these, will you help me put them on? And they were cheap, like $12, um, which I thought was reasonable. And this is, they have three, like, intensities. This is the lowest intensity, but look. I wish you could have seen the before and after because it's pretty remarkable. So you take them off at night. They're supposed to last like five or six times. But for video, I mean, I thought they're pretty cool. So yeah, so that's what I'm blinking. Um, we had a really chill weekend. We ended up having an impromptu garage sale. We were going to have a garage sale, but then it had been raining and we were tired, so we didn't. Saturday ended up being perfect, of course, and my daughter was upset we didn't. So we threw stuff on the garage, out in the yard made $109, which I thought was not bad for two hours of work. Um, ended up getting to go through the garage a little bit. And we watched Designated Survivor. Again, don't know if you guys have seen this. We haven't. And someone told us to watch it. Oh my gosh, cannot stop. So crazy Monday because kids are like in the home stretch of school, all steam ahead, racing towards summer. I've got work to do. It is what it is. It's the life of a busy mom. So I'm going to get going. I hope you guys have a great day. Make sure you make it great and do not wait to tell someone you love how you feel about them. Bye, friends.